My connection with the quarry goes back three generations. My great-grandfather, Owen Davies, came over from Anglesey about 1860 to work in the quarry as a stonemason, and he lived at the barracks for a short while. He probably built this bridge that is situated between Chwarel Vivian and the hospital in 1886. He and his two sons worked at the quarry according to the 1901 census and lived here at Pentecastell. My grandfather, Robert Owen Davis, one of the sons, worked in the quarry until his retirement in 1946. The other son, Owen Davis, went to South Africa and made his money working in the gold mines. After the Second World War, my father came to Llanberis. He was born in Wrexham, and after marrying Hilda Wynne, he became a quarryman in 1946. He didn't speak Welsh, but learned quickly and thoroughly. Obviously, he was always known in the village as Bob Rexam, or Robin Rexam. By now, the family lived at five venal cottages. One thing that stands out in my mind is the pride of the quarryman. To begin with, it was important to get a good education. My mother and her brother passed the scholarship and went to a Scotland Revile. But my mother had to leave at 15 because of illness in the family. Her mother became ill and needed someone to look after her. I have very happy childhood memories. Although we were four girls, we never did without. My father did not earn a large wage, but we had piano lessons, singing lessons, and were able to go to the earth camps at Llangranog and Glanlin. We went to the local choir abroad and carried on with our education and go to university. I had every support to carry on with my education and I'm indebted to another very intellectual quarryman in the street, the late Alan Roberts. Everyone knew, of course, that many quarrymen in this part of Llanberis were able to buy their own houses in 1958 for under £400 due to the kindness of Sir Michael Duff. This was also a cause of pride to the quarrymen because they now owned their own homes. My father worked at the quarry until the end. I can't remember much sadness in the area, as it was obvious that the quarry was closing. In 1969, both myself and my sister were planning our weddings, and naturally the cost of the wedding fell to our parents. The words of my parents were, go forward to plan the weddings that you want. The money will come from somewhere. We both received the weddings that we had planned, invited our families and friends. Years later, I realised that the money for both weddings came from my father's redundancy money, the pride once more. <laughs>